Hello and welcome to a brand new video of global techniques of architecture. So today, as discussed earlier, we would be talking of uh, FT as well as the same name as tempered glass. So what happens to FT glass or say what is FT glass is basically a glass having four times more strength than your annealed glass. So yesterday when we studied HS glass, it was two. It was having two times mechanical strength, higher than annealed glass. So this time we are talking of FT. FT means fully toughened or fully tempered glass. So wherever the project demands for a strength of more than HS glass, or else as I gave you the bullet bullet points regarding where to use FT glass. So FT glasses are to be used wherein there is a hole in glass. So basic mechanical funda. So it is like uh, less of the force, more is the area, more the force, less is the area. So wherever there is a drill hole in glass, we always recommend to go with FT glass. So how do we make FT glass? So till oscillating into the furnace, the process remains of same as of HS and as well as FT. So HS glass is allowed to cool at room temperature, whereas what happens in FT glass, it is a mechanical process called quenching. So what we do is the annealed glass that is made to pass and oscillate into furnace at a temperature 700 and above degree Celsius. So what we do is we we take this glass, allow it into the furnace and the moment it exits the furnace, the moment it exits the furnace, we cool it suddenly. So this cooling is force convection. So due to this force convection, what happens is at the molecular level, at the surface level, the surface tension between these two molecules because of their adherence, because of the quenching effect we get 11,000 to 20,000 PSI and that's why the strength of this FT glass is four times more than the strength of annealed glass, mechanical strength we are talking about. So wherever you see a drill hole, it is by default FT. There are many mechanical, electrical, interior as well as facade application of uh, FT glass. So yesterday I had told you about uh, you and me getting fooled. So 90% of the people, uh, my viewers are watching the videos of GTA onto their cell phones. Now into your cell phone or say onto your cell phone, what you have is called an FT glass because you have bought it from somewhere or the else from the local market and it has been sold to you as FT glass. And believe me, it's not glass. So that's the sole reason for which I wanted to tell you that we all are being fooled. And I as a designer feel very, very, very annoyed when I see FT glass at 100 rupees, 50 rupees, 60 rupees at roadsides. And they proudly say tempered glass, FT glass laga lo and something like that. So this is, this is deteriorating the glass industry. But yes, uh, if you enjoy it like a joke, yes, we all are cool along. In fact, uh, I had two uh, surfaces of FT glass. But uh, when I realized it, I just let it go. So coming back to the topic, uh, FT glass has also interior applications like uh, sliding doors, like uh, swing doors, uh, the openable in the interiors. Exterior, uh, we always go for, uh, if at all, FT glass is to be used. We always suggest uh, into spider glazing to go with a laminated plus FT glass. Into railings, we always suggest lamination plus FT glass. Now, however strong this FT glass is, it has one drawback. So this drawback is a complete video in the next session. And it is called the ghost effect. And technically, it's called NIS, Nickel Sulfide Inclusion. So, for getting onto that, 
nerve of that breakage and the problem of epiglass keep tuned to this channel once again thanks for watching